subscribers that I've gotten ever since my what's on my iPhone tag has come out I've gotten over a thousand views on it and I just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much so much for making that video the most popular video on this channel and thank you to all the new subscribers that have come here by way of such video so I just want to say thank you and welcome we are friends we're gonna be cool and we're gonna try and build this YouTube empire together. So starting off with today's video, I'm doing something a little different as usual. Um, there was this girl on YouTube here named Carly and I'm going to link her channel down below. Definitely go check her out. She was super nice to me when I first um, put up some of my newer videos and she commented on my what's on my iPhone tag video. And I wrote her back asking her about a favorites video or the idea of a favorite. I like the idea of doing a favorites video, like a monthly favorites, but then I thought about it personally. A lot of my favorites I use for months and months at a time. So if I make these monthly favorite videos for you guys, they won't have no sustenance or it'll just be the same products over and over again. So I decided to do it by season. Spring is definitely upon us and I can really feel it and I'm just getting super excited. So where I'm at in New York today, I gotta get my phone for you guys. Today, March 18th, right there. March, whoa, I, what's going on? Today, April 18th, it's a Monday, um, but today it's 70 degrees out. This is the first real spring day that we've had in a while. So I decided to do this favorite video today because I'm in the mood and I am just all about spring today. So, this video is going to be my favorite spring things, um, part one, because there's a part two. I have 12 things total, so I'm showing my first six items, and the best catch is each of these things are under $10, because we all know I'm balling on a budget, so I'm just going to assume that you guys won't mind a good deal, or some really nice things that are on the lower end of the expensive spectrum. So, to get things started, so I have six items. And they're broken up. They're broken up into, I guess, makeupy stuff, um, skin care stuff, and leisure stuff, right? Yeah. So we'll just, uh, I guess, do it that way. Yeah. So first, we'll start off with the makeup. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with like my throat today, but we're gonna start off with the makeup things first. So the first thing on this makeup list is these pair of eyelashes. That's right eyelashes guys I have on some right now but these are a very tattered and worn out pair of these lashes and I got these from Target and they retail for about four bucks for the two and you get a eyelash glue up in there and then you also get one of a special shaped tweezer I don't know if you guys can see it but you'll get a special shaped tweezer that it has a curve at the end that should help you place your lashes on your eyeball a lot better and the glue is the duo clear to white eyelash adhesive and I really like this glue because it comes off of your eyelashes super easy so you're able to keep these bad boys for a really long time and it really does dry completely clear the reason why I like these for spring is because it has a nice kind of wispy and light feel to them and they just look great on the eye just for like this nice bright kind of look that everyone is going for in the spring so definitely the Ardell and this is the Ardell deluxe pack and I got this from Target for $4. Next on the makeup list, I have two makeup items, so that was the first one. The second one is this Milani lipstick. Bada bing, bada boom. And I got this from Target for about $4.50. I wanna say let's round up five bucks. So this is a Milani lipstick. I don't know if you can see it properly. And this is in the color 42 Rose Femme. And I really like this. I'm gonna it's a really deep nude color and I know even though like spring you would want these bright and bold colors it actually just if you have a kind of like a darker lip or a more pink lip it just kind of helps it plump it actually and it kind of does come out bright now I'm gonna swatch it and I know it's gonna come out kind of dark looking but I promise you guys like it definitely is perfect for the springtime I accidentally picked it up and look at God <laughs> I was going for another color I cannot remember the name but I was going for another color and I accidentally picked this one up instead and it ended up coming out great and I absolutely love it I have that on I have this 
this on right now and I glossed it over with a gloss from e.l.f. which will be in my part two video. So I don't want to talk about the gloss, but underneath the gloss is Femme Rose, or Rose Femme, which is the color number 42 from Milani. Next, we're gonna move into kind of like the skincare um, kind of phase. So I have two skincare items and they're more focused on the skincare for the face. So the first items I have, they retail for about $3 each at most, anywhere from 2 to $3 each, depending on which one you get. And it's these face masks from Target. Um, they're so nice, guys. So the brand is called Kbella Beauty and Bath, and they're only exclusive to Target. Guys, I should just let you know that I have an obsession with Target or Target. I have a serious obsession. I think Target is great, affordable, great stuff, great clothes, great food, great makeup. They have everything. Target's just great, guys. But this brand is exclusive to Target and the three that I use the most is the Pink Packet and it is the Pomegranate Peel Off Mask and it's meant for refreshing. So they have different kinds of masks. They have like a wash off mud mask kind of thing and then they have the ones where you put it on, you let it dry and then you peel it off. So this is the Pomegranate Peel Off Mask and it's for refreshing the face. I use these um, when I have like a really rough day or I've sweated all day, I've been walking around all day and it's just been kind of crazy. The Pomegranate Peel Off Refreshing mask is great then um, there is the facial mask or the mud mask area kind of thing and this is the pore minimizing one it's for your t-zone and the full facial mask um, so this is so this is more of like the mud mask kind of thing you would put it on let it dry and harden and then you would wash it off and I use this for my t-zone and around here where I have really really disgusting pores pores is my downfall guys so definitely definitely anything pore minimizing and the last one that I use the most is the purifying mask and it is the tea tree and witch hazel mud mask. So it's the same kind of concept, you put it on, you let it dry, you let it harden and then you go and you wash that, that bad boy off. So this is the purifying one by K-Bella and I really like these masks because it just leaves your skin feeling amazing and just feeling great. So these three masks run for about two to three dollars each depending on which kind you buy. So if you buy like purifying or a peel off mask or whatever. But yeah, they're exclusive to Target and they're called, their brand is called K-Bella. My second skincare item is a face wash and it is by Saint Eyes. And I really like this for spring because you want your skin to be kind of even toned and bright and just kind of effervescent for the spring. So this is the Even and Bright Pink, Lemon, and Mandarin Orange Scrub. It polishes away little imperfections for bright, radiant skin. And it, it's hypo added, uh, hypoallergenic and um, paraben free and it's 100% natural exfoliants. So I really like this because one, it has a great scent, guys. Like, I don't know, I, I like great scents when I'm waking up in the morning, something to really wake me up and boost me up. So this is really good. And it's really been helping me kind of even out my hyperpigmentation. I won't only attribute my evening out of my skin to this, but I definitely would put this in as a factor. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So check out St. Ives. This retails for me for about <laughs> this retails for me for about four bucks at Target, so definitely, definitely go check these bad boys out. Moving on to the leisure stuff, I have two leisure things, and one of them is nail polish. So the first kind of nail polish I have, there's two of them, and they retail for about three bucks at Forever 21. And then the Forever 21 brand um, nail color, um, it's their brand. It's from like Forever 21. <clears throat> it's exclusive to Forever 21, and the first color I have is called. Pink Pearl. It's really bright and really pretty and it contrasts really nice with my skin. By my skin is dark. It contrasts really nice and this is like a perfect bright toenail color because we all know in the spring and in the summer your toes have to be on point girl. Like they just have to be on point. So the first color is Pink Pearl and I think this color is really 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 pretty. And the second color I have for you guys is their lavender color. And lavender, this is another bright, um, kind of spring, pastel-y kind of color. And I just think for $3, you know, you get, you get a really decent sized, um, you get a really decent sized nail container compartment full of product. And the packaging is just really pretty and simple and sleek. And I use these to kind of display on my chest of drawers. Um, with my other makeup that I use every day. So it's really aesthetically pleasing as well as affordable. So yeah, this color is lavender and the first, first color I showed you guys is pink pearl. These two are very, very nice spring 
um, items and they've been some of my favorite as well. And the last leisure item I have for you guys on my Spring Favorites Part 1 is this body spray. Oh my god. Now this body spray by itself, you have to use a coupon. Um, they have coupons for these in the store so you just have to ask. It is by itself without the coupon 14 bucks just for this. However, if you ask them for the coupon because they're having a promotion for this um, scent, it will come out to nine bucks, which is still under the $10 like I promised. So this scent, and it's, as you can see, it's almost done. Like it's definitely one of my springtime favorites. Um, it's called Pink Lemonade Fizz, and it's one of their fine, favorite mint, fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. It smells amazing and it gives you that light, airy, kind of fruity kind of scent that is perfect for the springtime. Definitely go pick one of these up, guys. I, look at that, it's like a little lemonade straw. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it inside, but I just think the packaging was so cute and everything on Bath and Body Works' is part. So definitely go check this out and go pick this up. Go get a sample, go sniff it, go love it. Put it on, walk around, feel bomb. Perfect because I'm part of the Beehive guys, and yellow is one of my colors. And Beyonce is about to release something called Lemonade. Boom! I went and <laughs> when I saw the preview side note, when I saw the preview, I just sprayed this all over my body, and I was just walking around the room excited. I don't even know what Lemonade is. I don't know if it's a short film, it's just a music video. I don't know what it is. I just know I'm excited for it. So. This is the last on the list and it's called Pink Lemonade Fizz and it's a great body scent. Okay guys, so that is the video. So there's going to be a part one and then a part two since I had 12 items total and I didn't want to make them a really, really long, you know, collective um, video. I thought these short videos would be nicer and the part two will be something to look forward to. So that is what I promised, my six favorite springtime things under $10. So keep a lookout for part two, and also keep a lookout for my newest journalism package I did with Hofstra today. And yeah, until next time you guys, peace.